on the back side of my house. Um, kind of an area where you can get a lot of the traffic and basically almost 180, a little more than 180 degrees worth of material to film here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put it right here on the, uh, basically on the back side of my, on the outside of my deck. And uh, there was another location I kind of wanted to put it, but the solar panel just didn't really work there with how everything stuck out. Now I can modify it, but this actually worked pretty good as well. So that's what I'm going with. Right now I just kind of have it set on top so I can understand how everything's going. Um, there are two screws or a couple screws that are in the, the screw pack that comes with it that does uh, keep the solar panel from coming off. So we're probably going to put that on after we mount the camera. So let's work on getting the, uh, the template up here, putting that in, screw it, getting, the, getting it drilled out and getting ready to screw it in. So what they give you is it's actually a sticker. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually unstick one side. There we go. And of course that doesn't have to stick very long. All it has to do is stick long enough for us to drill the four holes out. So one hole in each of the little red circles, and then we can actually remove that. You're not going to want to leave that on. You're going to want to remove it before we put the next part on. So let's grab the camera and four screws. Now I'm going to actually use different screws than what came with it because I'm, I don't, I want something a little bit longer, a little bit more bite into this wood. So you can use the screws that come with it as well. I'm going to use different ones. I'm just going to get it loosely in place. Then I'm going to get my little level out to check how close we are. Yeah, maybe a little tension here, but it'll work better. Not really a good space to check where it's plumber level. Um, so I'm just going to use the housing a little bit. If I can. Makes it have to rotate a little bit that way. Not much. So. Uh, it is a nice solid metal plate on the back side, so you're not worried about cracking that like crazy, but you don't want to put too much tension on it. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to take this, please use the Solium or Solium app, and just take that sticker off right now. Alright, let's get the solar panel and get that mounted, and then we'll get these uh, Wi-Fi antenna where they need to go, probably just kind of like that. Let me grab the solar panel. So before I actually put the solar panel on, um, they, these are the screws that come with it. And two of these, I'm just going to grab two real quick. I'm just going to start them at least in the threading here. Ah, and I dropped one. So just start the threading. You don't want to go too far in because you know it has to sit down before you tighten those in. Uh, but that's where those go. And let me grab a different screwdriver and then we'll get it in. Alright, so it actually goes on like this. I don't think I'm a little too far into that one, maybe. Yep, it did. Okay, so once you get it into place, um, I'm going to actually undo that for the solar panel real quick. Uh, kind of rotate your, your uh, solar panel how you want it. And then we can use the screws on the side to tighten it so the solar panel can't fly off or move for that matter. The Allen wrench that came with the package as well is for adjusting the tilt to tighten that up so I'm going to do that here in a minute. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and plug the solar panel into the camera which has this little plug. Plugs in pretty hard. Jeez. Okay once it's in you have that little red gasket then you have the little screw guy. We screw that along with it. Tighten it up to basically weather seal it. And then the extra here, you might just uh, like zip tie kind of like that. I'm gonna grab a zip tie quick. So let me do that real quick and we'll go from there. Okay, so all I'm gonna do real quick is just kind of zip tie this together a little bit. Get okay. the needle out of the way. Um, I did find one thing real quick before I tighten up the tilt. Um, the power is actually located on the top of the solar panel. So right where the, the power cord comes out of the solar panel right here, right above that there's a little rubber seal. Pull that little rubber seal out and there's a power switch right there. So we're going to click that on and uh, let it do its thing. The vehicle is now ready to begin pairing. 
Hey, look at that. That was fast. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tighten this. Or, well, let, me, let me take a photo. That way you guys can see it at least. What it looks like. Put the rubber seal back on. And make sure this is obviously a rubber seal that's facing upward. So take your time. Make sure this one gets back in there properly. Because you know, gravity is against you on this one. We want to make sure that no water is there. There we go. So now I'm going to tighten these back down. And then I'm going to tighten this guy down. Let's start pairing. 